line of symmetry is a line that can be drawn through a shape so that the shapes on either side of the line are mirror images of each other or are a reflection of each other. Shapes that have at least one line of symmetry are considered symmetrical. Here I have an example of a symmetrical shape. It has at least one line that I can draw through the shape that will have a reflection of each other on each side of the line. So if I draw a line right down here through the middle of this shape, you can see that the shapes on either side of the line are mirror images of each other. So if I were to take this side and reflect it and even fold a piece of paper over and have the lines here, they would match up with all the lines here. So it's like looking in a mirror with the line down the middle. I have the same shapes on each side of the mirror. And so this here is called a line of symmetry. Now, this shape does not have a line of symmetry going this way, for example. Going horizontally, I don't have a mirror image or a reflection going across a horizontal line. This shape only has one line of symmetry, which is the line that goes here vertically down the middle of my star. Any shape that does not have any lines of symmetry at all is considered an asymmetrical shape. And so I have an example here of a funny shape that has no symmetry at all. There's no place through the shape that I am able to draw a line either vertically or horizontally or even diagonally that would have a mirror image on either side of the line or a reflection on either side of the line that looks exactly the same on one side as it does on the other reflected like it was looking into a mirror. Now some shapes have more than one line of symmetry and we call these symmetrical shapes because remember that a symmetrical shape has to have at least one line of symmetry. But if it has more, it's also a symmetrical shape. Let's take a look at a square. A square has several lines of symmetry. So let's look at the different lines. First of all, the square has a vertical line of symmetry. If I draw a line right down the middle here, vertically, I can see that the shape on this side of the line is a mirror image or a reflection of the shape on this side of the line. There's another line of symmetry that goes right exactly through the middle horizontally. And so if this is my line of symmetry, I can see that the shape above it is a reflection of the shape below it. And so this is a second line of symmetry. Now with a perfect square, I also have two more lines of symmetry, and those two lines are the, are the diagonals across the diagonal of the square. So if I have another line passing through the diagonal here, you can see again that I have another line of symmetry because the shape on this side of the line is a reflection of the shape on this side of the line. Sometimes when we're working with paper and doing this with our hands, we'll take a piece of paper and we'll try to fold it over what we think is the line of symmetry. Hold it up to the light and see if our lines match up. And they would match up if it truly is a line of symmetry. Now in the same way that we have this diagonal line of symmetry in the square, we also have this diagonal line of symmetry in the square. And now I'm getting lots of lines in here. But if we concentrate on this line of symmetry here, again we can see that this shape on this side of the line is a mirror image or a reflection of this shape on this side of the line. So our square has four lines of symmetry. 
Let's take a look at a rectangle and see how many lines of symmetry we can find in the rectangle. So the rectangle has a vertical line of symmetry right through here, through the middle, and I can see the reflection is the same on each side of my vertical line. The rectangle also has a horizontal line of symmetry, and I can see as I draw my horizontal line here that the shape on this side of the horizontal line is a reflection of the shape on the bottom side of the horizontal line as well. Now, with a, a rectangle, and I'm going to make my rectangle a little more, a little more long here for uh, my purposes of demonstrating. Let's talk about what happens when we draw a diagonal line across a rectangle. So when we drew the diagonal line across the square, we had a perfect line of symmetry with mirror images on each side of the diagonal. However, when we're looking at the diagonal across a rectangle, we do not have a line of symmetry, and I'll show you why. So if I draw the diagonal line across my rectangle here, and I try to see if that would be a line of symmetry, and I imagine folding my paper in half, for example, what ends up happening is that I end up with a line that looks more like this. So if I fold this across my diagonal line of symmetry, I would have an image that goes like this, and then like this. That is the top reflected over the line here that I drew across the diagonal, and it is not the same as this line here of my rectangle. So it doesn't match up like a mirror. And the same way if I tried to take this bottom part and reflect it over this diagonal line across the middle, I would end up with a line that goes like this and like this, not the same as the, di or as the lines of the rectangle. So this is not a line of symmetry. This line drawn through the diagonal of my rectangle is not a line of symmetry because when I reflect my rectangle across that diagonal, it does not match up on the other side like it does with the line across the middle here horizontally or the line down the middle here vertically. And we already saw with the square that it does line up, but with a rectangle it does not. So with a rectangle we have these two lines of symmetry, a vertical line and a horizontal line, but we do not have the diagonals as lines of symmetry in a rectangle. So our rectangle only has two lines of symmetry. whereas our square had the four, and I'll just put four there for not writing lines of symmetry all out. So this square has four lines of symmetry, the rectangle has two lines of symmetry, just horizontal and vertical, not diagonal. Now with equilateral triangles, let's take a look at what lines of symmetry we have with equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles have lines of symmetry connecting each of the three angles to the middle of the opposite side. So if I have, for example, this angle here and this side here, if I draw a line through this angle here and over to the middle of the opposite side, I have a line of symmetry. I can reflect my triangle. The shapes will be the same on each side of the line. Here's one a little bit bigger. Same thing. If I draw a line from one angle to the middle of the opposite side, I get a line of symmetry. But that's not the only one. I can do that with all three angles 
connecting to the opposite side on all three sides. So the same thing here, if I draw a line between my angle here and the middle of the opposite side, that gives me another line of symmetry. And similarly here, from this angle to the middle of this opposite side, gives me another line of symmetry. And then on this bigger one, I can just show it again from the, make a little mark here on the middle of the opposite side. If I draw a line from the angle to the middle of the opposite side, I get a line of symmetry. And then here again, from this angle to the middle of the opposite side, I get another line of symmetry. So these equilateral triangles have three lines of symmetry. And they, so they are symmetrical shapes. And then the last one we're going to look at here is the circle. And a circle has an infinite number of lines of symmetry. Any line that passes through the center of a circle will be a line of symmetry. So you can see if I take a line going through the middle of my circle like this, it's exactly the same. The reflection on either side of the line is the same. I could fold my paper in half and I would have those two sides matching up. Same thing if I went through a line here or here or here and I could do that an infinite number of times around my circle and have everyone be a line of symmetry. So circles are symmetrical shapes with an infinite number of lines of symmetry.